So I'll talk 1983 in another video, but I want to talk about an earlier situation. And these happen more often than not. I mean, it's staggering the amount of almost nuclear wars we had. And this is why I think the human factor overrides mutually assured destruction in a lot of cases. The, the critical thinking of humans saying, wait, the computers, that can't be right. And I think that takes place even today. And I think there's a lot of people in both Russia and the United States that kind of have experienced enough of this craziness with these warning systems and these weapons that there are um, stop gaps in place. There are preventative measures, relief valves, ways to kind of reevaluate. So in 1960, in October of 1960, the there was many heads of companies and technical companies. I mean, for instance, Tom Watson of IBM um, was visiting NORAD in Cheyenne Mountain in Colorado. And Cheyenne Mountain's where they detect a lot of the nuclear launches and do a lot of the considerations and, and notifications of potential nuclear war. So in 1960, all these big head, uh, big wigs were visiting uh, NORAD. And the NORAD, new BMU system, the, the ballistic missile emergency warning system had just come online. And this, the system was located in uh, Greenland. And while they were there, the system sent up a warning. So the warning system has a, a one, which means that there's an unidentified uh, object flying, traveling towards the United States. Then there was an, then the next level was number three, in which there was a, um, the threat level was high. There was a, a strong likelihood of the missile that the United States was under attack and the Joint Chief Staff had to be notified. And then threat level five is the computer, a 1960 computer, had determined that there was a 99.9% uh, chance that the United States was under attack by a nuclear threat. So while these executives were there, the system flashed three, and they were ushered out of the room, Joint Chiefs were called, and then a few minutes later, it flashed five. They... NORAD had determined that there was a nuclear missile in, in route. The humans on ground, though, didn't said that didn't make sense. Khrushchev and his entire staff were in New York at the time speaking to officials uh, in the United States. Why would Russia fire missiles during that time? Well, reality was they hadn't. What had not been accounted for was the way the moon was rising over the horizon outside of Greenland had set off the systems. The scientists had said that the systems shouldn't could hit the moon, but they couldn't return. They were wrong. And we almost had nuclear war because of it. But humans overrode that. And I think that's where we'll go.